Hi Gandhi class, welcome to your second and final science lesson this week. Now our learning objective for this lesson is can I investigate the effects of friction on different surfaces? So today if we had been in school we would have been carrying out a really exciting investigation where we would observe how different things move on different surfaces. However, instead we are going to be doing the investigation at home using things that we can find around our homes. Some of you may have these items and some of you may not, but don't worry, I've got you covered, there's still a way. But first, we're going to recap on our last lesson. So forces make things move. Whenever an object starts to move or moves faster, it is a force that is making this happen. Forces can also make things stop moving or slow down. Now I've got a question for you. What is a force. Pause the video to have a think. So forces are pushes and pulls. These pushes or pulls will always change the motion of an object. They will either make it start to move, speed up, slow it down, or even make it stop. And I want you to have a think, and if there is somebody around um, that you can speak to and they're free for you to talk to, then can you discuss some examples of forces changing the motion of different objects? Pause the video here to either have a discuss with someone who's free or to have a think by yourself. Okay, I want you to have another think now. And if there is somebody free to talk to, then I want you to have a discussion about what is friction. Pause the video. What is friction? Okay, so friction is a force that holds back the movement of an object. Friction acts in the opposite direction to the movement of the object. Let's look at this cyclist as an example. So by pushing the pedals harder or faster, he can change the motion of his bicycle. It will cause it to speed up. When the cyclist pulls on the brakes, the brake pads will push on the wheels, changing the bicycle's motion. It will slow down and eventually stop. Cyclists travel on grass, gravel, sand and road. How do you think the different surfaces will affect the motion of the bicycle? Pause the video to have a think. Okay, so these surfaces all create a force on the bicycle and this force is called friction. The driving force pushes this bicycle and making it move, which is the, um, the cyclist who is pushing on the pedals. However, friction is pushing, the pushing on the bicycle and it's slowing it down. Different surfaces create different amounts of friction and the amount of friction created by an object moving over a surface depends on the roughness of the surface and the object and the force between them. So your task, you're going to investigate the effects of friction on different surfaces. But before we investigate, I want you to grab a piece of paper and a pencil. So pause the video here to get your paper and a pencil. Okay, so together we're going to draw this table below because you're going to use this table to record your investigation on. So we've got object, surface, what happened, and you need to make sure that it's got six rows. Let's draw the table together. So if we go to my camera, here we go. Now, what I want you to do is draw the table with me. So make sure you've got your ruler. You should have this in your pack from, your, uh, from December, and we're going to draw this together. Now, we need to split our table into three columns. So I'm going to draw the, uh, the length of it as 15 centimetres because I know that 15 divided by three is five. So it's a nice number for it to divide by. So when you draw your ruler, if you have got lines on your paper, fantastic. Please make sure that it is going to line up with your ruler. So make sure that when you draw your line, you, you are drawing on the blue line that you have got. If you have got plain paper that you're drawing on, then don't worry, that is absolutely fine as well. 
So when drawing our line, please make sure that your fingers are spread out over your ruler because this makes sure that your ruler won't move. When you draw, you need to make sure that you start off at the zero centimeters here and then you draw to 15. Now we don't start here because otherwise that will add on an extra half a centimeter. So from zero, draw all the way to 15. Pause the video to have a go at doing this. Okay, once you've done that, we need to make sure that we have six rows. So if you've got lined paper, great. If not, then I want you to draw six centimeters down. Now, if you've got lined paper, what we're going to do is we are going to draw um, six lines down. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So I know I'm gonna stop down here, but you need to join up your ruler with the last line that you have drawn where it starts and then draw down six lines or six centimeters if you are drawing on plain paper. So pause the video to have a go at doing that. Okay, once you've done that, what you need to do next is join up that line with your ruler. So make sure your zero centimeters is on the same point as that line. Then you're going to draw 15 centimeters along again. So draw 15 centimeters along and stop at 15 centimeters. Pause the video to have a go at doing this. And now what you need to do is just draw um, a line to join these two up. So make sure that they match up and then draw down. There we go. Now, as we said, we needed three columns. So each column is going to be five centimeters long. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a little dot where it says five centimeters. Then I know five out five is 10. So I'm gonna draw another dot on the 10 centimeters and then it should end on 15. And once you have done that, you just need to draw a line all the way down, make sure that it is straight. So what I tend to do when I check to make sure if something is straight, I look at the last line I've drawn and made sure that it's just about an equal amount. And then you draw it down and the same over here, you draw it down. So pause the video here to make sure that your table is currently looking like mine. Okay, once you've done that, what we're going to do is we are going to draw our six rows in. Now, if you have drawn on plain paper, please can you make sure that you are dotting one centimeter each time, and then you just draw along that one centimeter. If you are drawing on lined paper, then all you need to do is draw along on the lines. Make sure that you are drawing on that line and not above or below it. It needs to be on that line, otherwise it's going to be very confusing for you to see. So pause the video here to make sure that your table is now looking like mine. Okay, now what we need to do is fill in the heading. So our first heading was object. Now this is where we're going to write what we are using. The next heading was surface. And the last heading was what happened with a question mark. So what we need to do now is let's go back to our screen because I did an example for you. So I looked at a shoe, I pushed it along the carpet and I saw that it had slowed down. So then I'm going to pop that onto my table to show you how it should look. So my object is a shoe, my surface was carpet and what happened, it slowed down. Okay, so you should have something that looks like that, but you will fill in each of these as well. So let's go back to our lesson. I want you to get three objects from your house. It could be a toy, a vehicle, a shoe or a bottle. 
Now I want you to find five surfaces in your house to investigate the effects of friction on using your objects. For example, you could use a carpet, a sofa, a wooden floor, a kitchen counter, a bed, and many more that you have. If you have done this and filled out your table, I have got a further challenge for you to do if you would like to do it. If you've got a bike or a scooter with your adult's permission, go outside and ride them on two or three different surfaces. And once you've done that, I want you to write a sentence where you're comparing the difference of effects on these surfaces. Please take a picture of all your work and, up and make sure you upload it to Tapestry. I'll see you next time, Gandhi class. Bye.